Here's a great biblical thought to help you level up in your life, in your business, in your workplace, uh, to have a great next season. The verse is Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29, that says, Do you see someone skilled at their work? Uh, they will serve before kings. They will not serve before officials of low rank. Now, I need you to understand, uh, Proverbs aren't uh, promises. They're principles to guide our life. But this one has some great principles that we can take to our everyday workplace, our everyday life, that will help us a lot. Now, the big idea is those who serve with kings are those who are skillful, those who um, are effective. Uh, they're the ones who the king's going to hire. Uh, they want to hire the best. And it reminded me of uh, the controversial CEO of, of GE, Jack Welsh, who was asked about what it takes to get ahead in business and employment. And he said, there's kind of this big pile of people who are just going through the motions in their work. And what you want to do is get out of that pile because that's the people that the bosses, the CEOs are going to notice and they're going to hire. So you want to, uh, what are you going to do to get out of the pile to uh, be seen by the kings of the world uh, so that you can be hired and move ahead and level up in life? Now, this verse actually gives two methods uh, that you might not see at first glance if you're just kind of uh, looking at it. But if you read a kind of a bunch of translations or if you go back to the original, uh, there's kind of two levels to this. That word skillful there, now, some will translate it as speedy, as a, effective, as swift. Uh, it's talking about the speed at which you do your work. Uh, now, the idea here you'd think, uh, think about like fast food. They don't have to be the best uh, burger in the world. They just are fast and efficient at it. And they, you know, there's a low, there's kind of that low threshold there. But once you get beyond there, it's about the speed. And uh, so kind of think about your workplace or think about uh, your life. In what areas could you get just faster at that would kind of make you stand out from the pack? What In your job, what is that area that you could just uh, if you improved at your speed at it, uh, it would help you to be noticed and help you to kind of improve in your work. The second part and the more obvious is talking about uh, skilled at their work. Uh, and what is that skill that you can work at to be uh, kind of move out of the pack of life? Uh, Ecclesiastes 10.10 10 says skill brings success because it takes you, if you focus on a skill, uh, it can kind of, oh, that person's really good at such and such. That's the person you want to contact for such and such. What is a skill that you can work on uh, to get ahead, uh, get out of the pack, so to speak, and so you're noticed and le be able to level up uh, serving kings, serving those of a higher rank? I was also thinking about the flip side to this uh, verse. Uh, those uh, Proverbs, a lot of them were written for the king was talking to uh, his sons who were going to be kings. And uh, kind of that would imply, OK, think about when you're hiring, uh, get the skillful people, get the people who are you know, swift, efficient, uh, find the best people for the jobs. And uh, now most of us aren't hiring, but if you are hiring, uh, look for those things. Be willing to uh, invest in someone that you're really excited about, or, or even for us, you know, common folk who aren't necessarily hiring a lot of people, uh, what are the areas where you can invest a little bit more uh, to get a better product, to get a better quality uh, now, I'm not just speaking to all my Apple fans, uh, uh, but <laughs> sometimes investing a little better product uh, is is worth it because it takes you down the road farther than investing in the average. Now, you think that through, uh, allow that to be part of your equation as you uh, try to, again, move out of the pack, uh, get to the front of the pack in life uh, to be successful in what you do. Now, here's where I think it really can become powerful is if you take these thoughts and then go into the presence of God and say, Jesus, what do you want me to work on in this next season? Is it uh, getting more efficient at a certain area of my life? Or is it a skill that you want me to kind of give more effort to, uh, uh, more thought to, more learning to? What What is that skill that you that would kind of take me to the next place? Or uh, if you're a hiring person, what are those hires that I need to make that will 
kind of take me to that next place. And then in the presence of God, you take those things and now you're kind of going at a different level because you're saying, God, speak to me. And out of that relationship with God, things can begin to happen because ultimately he's the king we're trying to serve. He's the one we're trying to go after. So uh, his His agenda is what we really want to, uh, to go after. So uh, make this a, a matter of prayer. Say, God, what do you want me to focus on? What do you want me to give my effort to in this next season of my life that will take me to the next place that you have for me? Well, this has been Kevin Senapati Ratna from Christ Connection. I hope this is an encouraging to you. What I'd love to hear is what is God saying to you about the skills that you need to work on? Give me a comment below of what uh, that looks like for you in your life, in your place uh, of work, uh, or maybe the skill that you want to develop. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to pray for your pastor. God bless.